Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I will be teaching you how to make different particles emit when you hit different objects. For example, we've got this human soldier over here and he's obviously human, not wood or not metal or anything else. <laughs> Please excuse his hand, look at that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, and this is wood and so on. And in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to make a uh, spark submit when you hit something that contains a rigid body. But what if it doesn't contain a rigid body? What if it's just a solid object that contains a collider? And that's what, what we're going to cover today. Because a lot of them asked me, how do I get, uh, let's just say, dust and grass effects coming out from my um, terrain? And... Um, a lot of them don't know how to do that because otherwise normally you have to put a rigid body on there but I'll show you how to do it without the rigid body today so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your main player okay and you want to go to your reshoot script so I'm just going to open that quickly okay Okay, my model develops open, and uh, let's head back into Unity again for one second. Uh, find any object you want. I'm just going to use this soldier because I'm going to emit blood effects. So if I go right next to him, I just want to make sure he's tagged correctly. At the moment, you can see I named, uh, tagged him enemy, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to delete the enemy tags and do it from scratch. So enemy, delete, enter, enemy, delete. Okay, so we want to name this guy enemy. So we create a new tag and we call it enemy. Oh, no caps, sorry. Okay, uh, click on him and define him as enemy. And he also needs a collider. Now, it, don't use a box collider, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, click on components physics and then click on character controller and it's going to ask you it already contains a mesh collider and just say add don't replace it and there you go it made a perfect um, character controller around the soldier now I can change the radius myself if I wanted to just make it a bit more bigger the height a bit more big and take it down a bit there we go so now, if my ray shoot, uh, if my ray end of my ray hits this collider, it's gonna um, emit the blood effect. So let's do that next. Let's go back into our script. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new public variable, which will hold our blood effect. So we're gonna call this a public for blood. effect and it's going to be a type particle emitter uh, I can see particle animator there we go particle emitter close that now we want to go to our start function and we want to disable the blood particle when the game starts so blood blood effect dot emit equals false okay now you want to go to your ray shoot function which is over here and you have three closing brackets here underneath the second one make a space and you're going to start off the new if statement we're going to say if open bracket hit so if our ray point hits what this time? A collider, not a uh, rigid body. So if hit dot collider dot game object 
dot tag. Now I'm going to test you guys. If you think that's correct, it's wrong because it won't work. Basically, you need to compare the tag. So Unity has to go through the whole system of tags and see if it finds anything that exists with enemy. So don't put tag there, otherwise it won't work. So game object dot compare tag you need. That's the one. And you're going to put an open bracket. And what's the tag Unity is going to be looking for? And renamed that guy enemy. So we're going to put enemy in here. And we're going to close that bracket. And another closing bracket. So I close the if statement. And open curly brace. And a closing curly brace. Now we're going to say if open bracket blood. Blood effect. What is going on? There we go, blood effect. Okay, so we're going to check if this is true, I mean false. So if it's Emit is set to false, we want to enable it. So we're going to say hit uh, blood effect dot transform dot position position is equals to hit point. So we're basically saying it's going to pop out from the end of our raycast hit point. Okay, and then we want to say blood effect dot transform dot local rotation. If I can find it, there we go. Equals a quaternion dot from to rotation. Open bracket vector free dot forward comma hit dot normal okay and the last one we're just gonna omit it this time so blood effect dot emit now you want to select the emit with the purple cube next to it and it starts with a capital E and then open bracket and close bracket so we basically said if our raycast's hit point hits a collider and the game object tag is enemy um, we want to enable the blood effect particle let's go back into unity now what you want to do is just get a blood effect particle if you haven't I will upload it to the website so you can download it and you want to attach that to your player's muzzle flash to drag it into there so I'm gonna quickly drag it onto that blood effect or if your blood spat splat if I named it correctly yes I think so okay there it is Mm -hmm. I think that's the wrong one actually. Um, let me delete this one. What did I name it? Blood what? Oh, it was blood effect, sorry. Uh, blood splat. Blood splat. There it is. I'm going to drag this into my muzzle flash holder. And there it is. Then click on the player's ray shoot script. And there should be an open variable called blood effect. Now, in there, you want to drag the drops and also the main. So let's go back into our model, model developer again. 
Let's add one more variable. And let's just call this one public var blood effect main. And this will be a particle limiter as well. Close that. I'm just going to copy this name quickly blood effect main and I'm gonna go to the main function the start one and I'm gonna put emit to false as well okay then we're gonna go back down to our race shoot function and we're gonna say if open brackets blood effect main close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace now what's the facing of the blood effect main it's going to be the end of the ray, uh, ray cast hit point so blood effect main dot transform dot position is equal to hit let me just copy that paste it there close that okay now copy this line paste it directly underneath this one and just call this one blood effect main and underneath blood effect dot emit we want to put blood effect dot emit so blood effect main save that let's go back into unity and it should uh, display those particles when I hit the glider named enemy Oops, I put a capital either, sorry. There we go. No errors. Let's run this and give it a shot. Oh, before we do, make sure you attach the main blood particle to the blood effect main as well. Save that. That's the main particle and I'm just going to scale it up a bit, it's a bit too small uh, for now that'll be okay, just a test anyways I'm going to switch that back off, I'm gonna run the game again gonna go to this guy and hopefully when I shoot him you should be able to see the blood There you go. I know the blood looks quite strange yet, but later on we'll fix that. But for now, that's how you emit different particles when hitting different colliders. Okay. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon.